Hi guys and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to style your single player saves. And so you can see here I have a saved world and I basically just created this for the purpose of this video. I have some obfuscated texts, some blue text and some purple text. So this is fairly easy to do. What you're going to need though first is a tool called NBT Explorer. And this is going to be what you're going to use to edit the uh, files to create these colors. So if you click on it, and then you go to, um, if you're on Mac, you can get the Mac version. If you're on Windows, get the Windows version, or Linux. And uh, once you have it downloaded, it's going to be on your desktop. I just went ahead and extracted it. So I have NBT Explorer right here. And we're going to open it up and we're gonna run it. And then what it does is it automatically picks out the saves in your Minecraft directory. So what happens if your directory is in a different location? Well, what you would do is you would do open folder, and I actually do have another Minecraft directory on my computer. So if I went to that directory under my Google Drive, um, Minecraft, dot Minecraft, and I selected that and then went to saves, and then clicked OK, it would show all my saves for that directory. But in this case, I'm just going to show you for the default Minecraft directory, since that's what most people use anyway. So if we open up our saves and we go to this one here, uh, then we go to level.dat, and then we open up data. Let's make this bigger. And we go to level name. So this is where the name is being changed. Uh, so what I've done is I have uh, this page here and I'll put a link to it in the description. This is the Minecraft wiki's formatting codes for Minecraft. This works for um, editing uh, colors and, and format for uh, books and it also works for your save files. So if you um, if we go here and we edit this and we can see that I have uh, whatever that symbol is and then K. So that corresponds to obfuscated. And then I have the symbol and then R that corresponds to reset. So it goes back to default text. And then I have B, um, which I believe is the aqua color. Uh, and then that's, that's my title. So if you look, I have obfuscated, then normal in the light blue. And then for this down here, for the subtext, where it says woo, I have to go to uh, the actual Minecraft directory. So I'm gonna go to my user folder and then go to app data and then roaming and dot Minecraft. And then let's go to saves. And basically, if you copy and paste that symbol and then whatever other uh, code uh, after it, it'll style your save in Minecraft. All I did was put the symbol, then five, uh, which is dark purple, and then I just renamed it to Woo. But you can put anything here, really. So like if you wanted to have um, test world, and then you know below it for testing or something, just so that you can remind yourself what a world is for. Um, this would be handy for people who have a lot of different saves for a lot of different things. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. And like I said, I'll have a link to I'll have a link to everything in the uh, the description uh, for MBT Explorer and for the formatting codes. Just to clarify, how these codes work is that when you put one down, all the text after it has that formatting. So for uh, the symbol then K, that is the obfuscated text. So everything after here has obfuscated until it hits another formatting code which tells it to do something otherwise. In this case, reset is going to change it to the default mode which is just regular text. Um, and then uh, changing it to aqua is going to have that effect until it hits another code that changes it. So if I had put the obfuscated text after here, um, it would stay aqua and obfuscated. So if I click OK, save, and then we go here, go to cancel and go back. Oh, that's right, I need to add some, some more text, don't I? 
So we'll do text or test. Okay. And then we'll save that and then we'll go back. And so now we have the color has been, the color is carrying over and the new formatting is taking effect. So basically, uh, any of these color codes will override each other when you add them in. And um, any of these will override, any of these styles will override each other. But you can have both a style and a color at the same time. Uh, so I just wanted to make that clear for you guys. All right, I hope some of you guys find this useful. And uh, as always, take care.